so no big deal there. Go back over here, we can go to the video, and it's going to say split video into frames. The options may be a little bit different here on Windows. Um, it'll just say, you know, extract video and all this kind of stuff. Um, the video player for Linux is called mPlayer, but it's going to show you Windows Media Player based. It'll give you different options, but anything you choose is going to be pretty much the same. You select the input video, uh, video to GIF. An important piece here, because we're not, there's no audio in an animated GIF, you set audio track to zero. You don't worry about this. For frame names, this is this is a, what it's going to do is it's going to split the whole video into individual images for each frame. So what I want to do is create a folder, and I'm going to call it. Um, actually, I'm going to create it on my desktop just to avoid some confusion. I'm going to create this the vid to GIF folder. All right, and then it's gonna it's gonna name each frame the number of frame it is after it. Okay, uh, Number of frames, it always selects 100. Uh, I don't know how many frames are in this video, so I'm just going to put 999. It's going to be less than that. Probably the number is closer to 500. But what it's saying is how many images are we creating. A video is either 24 frames a second or 30 frames a second. So typically for you know a 10-15 second GIF, you're, you're pretty fine on anything over 500. I just typically will say 1000 just to make sure it catches them all. Um, set the quality all the way up to 100 uh, and then some options down here this is stuff you probably won't need to do uh, silent just means it's not going to display the video while it's setting it up open just means it's another way of saying it's not going to do the video and don't worry about any of this so click OK oh, I don't know what this is about let me try that one more time Oh, there we go. That option was wrong. That was my bad. So it's extracting the frames, and what it's doing now, we're going to go back over here and look on my desktop. This folder here, this vid to gif folder, is going to be filled up with all these frames. And each of these is one frame in that image. Alright? So... So okay, that finished up. All right, I know that the actual video is 24 or 30 frames per second, and that's way too much for a GIF. A GIF needs to be small, it needs to be kind of compact. I will typically go with eight to 10 frames a second, so a third of what is going on there. And here is how I do that. This is such a stupid way to do it, but you can do the same thing in Windows. Just set these up to be viewed as icons set these up to be icons and I will literally just resize the window so that there's three columns and then I just select all the frames in these two columns so it's leaving me every third frame unselected and I just delete the ones I did select so now I only have every third frame in here rather than I think it was like 230 images now it's down to 75 alright so we go back to GIMP and in GIMP, you go to the File menu, and it says Open as Layers. And we are going to go to that folder we created and select all the layers here. And we're just going to click Open. And it's going to open them all. It's going to take kind of a little bit. Let's see if you can see over here. Yep. So it's opening them all. Each frame is its own layer, which is how this program processes... Uh, animated GIFs. Going, going, going. And you can see here it's only showing, you know, 109, 112, so we only caught every third frame of that image.
right. Almost done. I've, I've had it hang here a couple times as I've been doing them, and I just cancel out and restart it, and it does it again. All right, so here is, you can see each frame of this coming up here. All right. Uh, if we wanted to resize this at all, um, this is the place that I do it. So typically, just so that the, the image is manageable, I'll set it to a width of 200. Um, let's scale that. And it'll do every single frame. So now this is manageable. You know, it's a, it's a little bit, this is, this is the actual size. You can see down here, this is what it'll show up. If we wanted to do them bigger, you can do them bigger. If you wanted to do them smaller, you can do them smaller, whatever you need to do. Um, the other thing is, if, you, if you're really concerned about an animated GIF being too big, I should have mentioned this before, uh, you can actually choose to cut out more than, you know, every third frame, or use more than every third frame. You know, if you, if you wanted to do one in five frames, you crop out, you know, four columns of, of images. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, to do this, I've just kind of made it a personal standard to do... Um, I'm using every third frame. I feel like that gives you a pretty good animation. It doesn't look choppy, but at the same time, it's a manageable file size. So here we have this. GIMP has a filter, so we go up to Filters, Animation, and then you say Optimize for GIF, and you just click that, and it does its own little magic down here. And... Boom. Spits out the finished product. I go in here and I just go to save as and I'm going to go to my desktop brutal ko and save it and then here this is the important part you need to do save as animation export and the last really important step is right here is delay between frames were unspecified. This is this is the delay, you know, between each of those frames. There, you figure a thousand milliseconds um, is a second. This video was probably either, like I said, 24 frames a second or 30 frames a second. So roughly, the delay between each frame needs to be 100 to 120. Um, I'm just going to go with 100 for right now. It's pretty standard, and save. It saves that. And it should be all done. So I'm going to close all this. Don't save. Wait. All right. So here's that GIF I made, and I want to open it with GThumb Image Viewer, and you can see here, boom. There he is, getting beat up. There it is. And just replays over and over and over. I think uh, I cropped the video out a little early there, and I missed the ref stopping it. But you get the point. You know, you just be a little bit more careful in cropping the video to what it wants, what it wants to be. So that pretty much summarizes it. Um, I'm going to post in there links to all the tools that I use on all this kind of stuff. There's Sandy's email. Uh, there's an audio recording for this. So pretty much the steps are: get your video. I do that for a YouTube video using Firefox and the Easy YouTube uh, video downloader plugin. Um, then I watermark the video. On Linux, I have my set of tools that I use, but Windows Media Player can do the same exact stuff. Once you have the video all cropped, we go to um, cropped and watermarked. We go to GIMP. We split the the video into frames. Then we crop out the frames we don't want to use. After we do that, we um, open them up as layers, resize it to whatever we want it to be and then use the filter to export it to an animated GIF where it'll optimize it and then it'll save it. And for this this GIF right here, it's like a megabyte and a half, totally reasonable for a GIF. And that's your finished product. Um, then I will use the, um, in the article authoring panel, I'll usually upload that GIF um, just straight up in there. Uh, and then I'll post a link and post it available to whoever was asking for it and they can use it however they want. So uh, this has been Surfrock66. If you have any questions, feel free to post them.